welcome in this video i will show demonstrate how to execute a hadoop job a hadoop job involves two scripts mapper scripts and reducer scripts i will show you how to execute both of these scripts to perform a particular function uh, the job that i will execute uh, it will count the words in a text file and show the topmost words. Okay. While watching this video, you can use a 2x speed to watch the video. Okay. So first of all, we need to go to the Oracle virtual box. So it's already installed on your local computer. You can just go on the start Oracle virtual box and then you can come here and right click and there will be an option start. So you can start. After it starts, it will show you a screen like this. What it's telling to access the Hadoop and the Hortonworks component where you need to go. To execute Hadoop script, we need to go to the SSH. I will be using Google Chrome. However, you can use other SSH client like Party or Sigwin. So if I go there, it will ask me for user ID and password. This system is already installed in your local computer. You can use the ID root and your student number as the password. Then you can go to here. This actually is also kept on your uh, local computer. This is this lesson is only just give you a feel of how Hadoop job needs to be executed. That's it, nothing else. So as we told, we want to execute a Hadoop job that will find the topmost 10 words in some in a file. So for that, this is the command that we will need to run. So first Hadoop, then jar, because Hadoop is written in Java and the executable file is the jar. That's the Hadoop history. The version 3.1, there could be another version depending for you, it's three. So we point out the, what is the mapper file? This hyphen file and hyphen mapper. We give the mapper file, we introduce the file, then we tell that it is the mapper file. Then we introduce the reducer file and then we say that this is the reducer file. Okay, and then the corresponding file that we need to be work on, where we will find the topmost 10 words and the output, where we, where we want to send the output. For your information, this input and then output will need to be on the Hadoop file system. Okay, when we first log in and currently we actually are on the virtual box, Linux, local environment, right? Now Hadoop creates another file system on top of this Linux. You can consider it a little bit remote that you need to access to in some other way. You can put file there or you can take out file from there. If you keep input and output in Linux local, the regular file system that can be extended for, it will not work. You will need to put these files on the HDFS distributed file system. It applies only for the uh, input and output. And mapper, we know it maps the input file in such a way so that reducer can do its job easily. So reducer will count and give the sum. So if we run it, okay, one thing, this 
output folder will need to be a new one every time you execute. I will give it a pause and come back when everything is executed. So the Hadoop job has executed. Now this is where the output has been kept. As this output is on the distributed Hadoop file system, we need to bring it back as the regular get and put command of Linux. Actual output file name is this. So we are bringing the file here. Use the PI tool to see the output. So this is the top 10 count of the words and this is the corresponding word and the corresponding count. It is sorted by the topmost found word. To get out, you can use this or you could also use cat. In this lesson, I will not show you the script, Python code. Now, Hadoop we need because we want to process big, big data, large data, but the same Python script mapping and reducing Python script can still execute as a regular program, right? And with that, we can just verify that if our software is running or not, whether they are doing the right job or not. For that, we will use a test file and see if it works or not. So we can see the mapper has converted the file into words and corresponding one. It will be always one as the way the mapper is being used. Now, if we want to see how the reducer work, let's read the file and send it back to, so it is assumed that you guys already know this piping. Okay. Uh, let's say C is one is sky one. It looks like everything is only one. Okay, it does not uh, look quite right to me because it looks like the sky and C, those are supposed to be multiple times why it happened. Okay, it looks like we need to sort it first. Uh, ideally, we really don't need to sort the words. It should be working. Anyway, it's a glitch on the reducer file. Now we know what are the topmost 10 words. Okay. Watch this now, we will do it on our own together. <laughs> 